Hey everyone, it is December 1st and that means it's time for Vlogmas. It is day one of Vlogmas 2020. I think this is the third year I've been doing it. Actually, no, I think it's the fourth. And I think this year is going to be a little bit different than Vlogmas's past because 2020 is definitely very, very different. The numbers of COVID in Canada are rising and I think we're going to be having a winter season ahead of just staying home and being very, very cautious. And that's okay. I am looking forward to a really quiet season with my family. And I've never really had a theme for Vlogmas before, but in the last few weeks thinking about it, I was listening to a lot of Christmas music and decorating, and I really felt like my focus this year was going to be comfort and joy. And I think it's just going to be a year where I'm looking for all of the joy and the simple things and the comforts of home. And I'm kind of looking forward to a really quiet, but beautiful Christmas season. I have not prepared much for the first day of Vlogmas. I am a little bit behind on winding up my advent skein of yarn and just getting things in order, but that's okay. It is December today and I'm going to start to get all the things ready, share my advent calendars with you. And I also have a package that I have been hanging on to for the last like four or five days. I've been so good and I have not opened it because I really wanted to save it, not only for Vlogmas, but just for a moment that I could really enjoy it. And I just did a shop update over the weekend and um, I was shipping out everything yesterday and I just didn't want to open it and then not be able to really enjoy it. So let's get into all of those good things. I have most of our advent calendars ready to go for tonight. For the boys, Camden has a Reese chocolate calendar. James has the cookies and cream. And because James loves his Lego advents, we got him the Star Wars one this year and he's really excited about it and it looks really nice. Now, if you guys remember, I usually put together a personalized advent calendar for Glenn each year. I have everything I need and the bags and everything, but I have not packaged any of it yet. I told you it's been really hectic. I am not lying. I feel a little unprepared, but that's okay. I'm going to do it this afternoon and get everything ready and put a basket down here for him. And my advents are over here on this little table. I have a yarn advent calendar from Chelsea Lux, which I am so excited about. Christina packages this so beautifully. I've got little treats in here that were in the package. And I also really love this card that she included that shows you all of the different colors for each day. It's so pretty. It also comes with a full skein for the 25th of December, which I'm not gonna lie, I did have a peek at that because the tissue paper just kind of opened up. It was just an accident. But I am super excited about that and I have a few other things. Of course, I have my Cozy Knitter 2020 Advent 24 Stripe Skein uh, where I think I'm going to do the two at a time again and knit one color each day. Although I might have to do a couple colors because I think I'm just going to use this for the rib as well this year. Sometimes I do a contrast cuff but I don't know, I'm thinking not this year. It is gorgeous. I cannot wait to see how this knits up. And I really like how Christina, this is a different Christina, Cozy Knitter Christina. Um, I really love how she um, separated it into two skeins. I can't remember if she did last year or not, but I really need to wind this up. That is on my to-do list today. I got just this little box of tea that I thought would be nice. Um, there are 25 sachets in here, kind of Christmas themed flavors, I think. And I don't usually do um, very well with the whole big tea advent calendar. So I thought that might be nice and I can share those with Glenn or just drink them whenever I want. And instead of a beauty calendar this year, I am so excited about this. 
I got the Bon Mama Jam Advent Calendar. Um, it's that beautiful jam that has the little red and white checkered lids. And they're tiny little jars, all different flavors. I cannot wait for this. I thought it would be really nice, kind of different. And again, I can share it with anyone in the house. No one else was really interested in using my L'Occitane or my Kiehl's products, but um, I thought this would be really nice. And in case you're interested and still want to grab an advent calendar, I found this really early on in the year. I think it was October. I got very excited looking for some kind of different advent calendar and it was kind of hard to find a place that would ship it to Canada. So I found this shop, I think it was in Calgary, I can't remember. It's a little bit pricey, but I ordered it and had to wait for it. And lo and behold, I was in Costco a few weeks ago and they had a huge display of them. So if you are interested, it was on for a really good price. I think it was $20 less than I purchased it for, which was kind of a drag. But they did have a lot of them at Costco. So if you are interested in one and you're going to be in a Costco, I would have a look where they have all of the Christmas stuff because it is a beautiful package. And I think it's going to be a really nice treat to open up a little jar of jam every day. So I think I'm going to open up my package for my friend right now. And then I'm going to package up Glenn's advent calendar and wind up my yarn and just do all of the things. It is taking everything out of me not to rip into every package in here because look at how beautiful this is. I did a swap with my friend Cherie from the Ollie and Bella podcast and vlogs. If you don't watch them, you totally should. She is such a treat to watch. I really, really enjoy her. She is calm and talented and she's a really lovely person. And I reached out to her to see if she wanted to do a little Christmas swap this year. And I'm feeling a little bad because I did not individually wrap the things that I sent her in my box. And I'm kind of blown away by all of this because look at how pretty. So I'm going to um, start taking everything out so that I'm able to do this with one hand and read the card and share some of it with you. Look at this gorgeousness. Oh my goodness, Cherie, thank you so much. It is just so beautiful to look at. I can't even bring myself to cut the ribbons. But look at this perfect card. It's a recipe for festive fudge. And I'm so putting this into my traveler's notebook of favorite recipes. I think it's absolutely perfect. And thank you so much for your sweet message and for doing this little festive swap with me. I cannot wait to dive in. Oh my goodness, you guys. A bit of time has passed because I've been overly excited and giddy, opening and enjoying every little piece in this parcel. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I was. James even came down to see what was going on because I'm over the moon. Thank you so much, Cherie. You either know me so well or we have the exact same taste. I don't know which one it is, but I am so appreciative of everything that you put into this package. You obviously put a lot of thought into it, right down to the beautiful recipe greeting card and the packaging. And I'm assuming that some of this is probably local to you. Um, Cherie lives in England, and so it's kind of nice to see things that I maybe haven't seen before. There are these two little tea candles in here from the Botanical Candle Company. That one's late summer and that one is Citrus Grove and I love citrus so that is amazing. And orange citrus. I love this. It smelled so good when I opened the package. It is a handmade soap in the orange scent. This is what I was getting super loud and excited about. It's this beautiful bag that she made. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to use it. It is um, kind of puffy and padded and I love it. I love that print. It's very festive. And she included this really cute little notions pouch or anything kind of pouch. 
I love the gold stitching and it has beautiful little charm on the zipper. I really love this. It is the perfect size for a hat or a pair of socks. And there's this little progress keeper, very festive, super cute. It says snowflakes on it. This gorgeous yarn, I really love the color. I've never heard of this um, Mr. B. The color is gingerbread martini. Oh, and it's a Stellina. It's so pretty. Oh, I think I need to make more socks. It's gorgeous. I love that. And Cherie, like me, is into a bit of stationery and planning. And I think it's so funny that we kind of included very similar things because I think I gave you a clip like this too. So there's a beautiful little notebook here. This really pretty print. I kept the ribbon on it and one of these amazing Stabilo pens in a metallic color. The most perfect stickers, nail polish and gratitude stickers. Some washi tape, a little eraser. I'm so excited about these. All of these are gonna go with my planner supplies and I'm actually gonna keep all of these little tags and labels and things to put in my planner as well. I love lip products and I have never seen these here. So that is very exciting. It is um, a Vaseline kind of lip balm and lip gloss. A beautiful snowflake ornament, which would actually be perfect on my tree because I have a lot of white. I love that. And because Cherie knows that my son is very into soccer, she sent these little car air fresheners, which are super cute. I'm gonna put them in my car. And last but not least, the most perfect pin for me, here for the food. I love it from Punky Pins. I feel so spoiled and so blessed, and I'm so thankful for you, Cherie, not just for the gift, but just for you. So thank you so very much. And I just think it's the perfect time of year if you have a friend especially now that we can't really socialize. If you have a friend either nearby or in another country that you can reach out to and maybe do a swap with, it is so much fun to just send each other a few little things that are local to you. So I'm so happy that we did that and I am so thankful. is not my favorite thing but it's done so I'm going to find a basket to put all of these in for Glenn. Finally winding down. It has been such a hectic day. I'm really excited to put my feet up and relax a little bit. James is just getting ready for a soccer practice tonight and we are going to open our Advents before he leaves. But I thought I would show you um, my Advent yarn that I set up in one of my Christmas bags. These are sold out now, but they were in the shop 
this past weekend. And I've got my yarn caked up in two separate balls. I made sure to wind them the same direction so that I'm starting with the same color. And I did decide to find a yarn for heels, toes, and cuffs because I think I like the idea of doing the one stripe a day. So I found this undyed Stellina in my stash and I think it'll be really nice. I think Christina has actually done that with her socks and I really liked it. I found a couple of needles. They are nine inch circular needles, which I have never used before. So I'm going to try, oops, I'm gonna try them out. I have one by Chai Gu and one is a high, a high sharp. So I will cast these on tonight. I'm not sure how far I will get because I am tired, but I will catch up and eventually get to however many stripes I need to for December. <laughs> 